going left hand to right hand, left hand to right hand. We are almost at the finish line. The next thing we're going to look at doing is we're going to do an exercise today that we've done before with Chris has done this before, but today we're going to do this with Josh also getting a workout. So remember, we had the rope pull exercise that Chris did in the past where we pulled it across the room and then he pulled it down over a bar. So we're going to do that same pull over the bar exercise, but we're going to have Josh is going to be holding the bar into position. Remember, that's going to give Josh a great workout for his biceps, his shoulders, his core. He's going to be bracing his body, and Chris is going to be pulling on that rope. Now, I got this rope kind of set up for success down here. I got it in a nice little kind of S pattern here, so when it comes off the ground, it's going to pull real smooth. Josh, go ahead and let's right side step just a little bit. Okay, and then kind of a left 90 or a left 10 degree right there. Okay, so Josh is directly facing Chris right here. Go ahead and lift that bar up just a little bit higher. All right, I'm going to take this rope and let's step forward about six inches. There you go. Perfect. That, that is a nice spot right there. All right, Chris, are you ready? Yeah. All right, we always want to make sure our athletes are ready before we start because we don't want to put some resistance or we don't want to put any pressure on if they might need another moment to just get set. Josh, are you ready? Yeah, I think this position looks good to you. Looks good. So you're going to feel this rope coming up from behind you. Just hold strong and, and you're going to be fighting back against Chris's pulls. Here we go, Chris. So Chris has already started the pull. He's already got this moving. And we're there you go, Chris. We're pulling the whole rope. All I'm doing down here is just kind of moving this rope out of the way for Chris. I'm not doing any pulling at all. Now Josh is having to provide that tension to keep that bar up higher. There you go. Go up as high as you can, Josh, too. There you go. So the higher up Josh goes, you can see Chris is pulling Josh around. Josh is a jiu-jitsu. He's a martial artist. And look at him right now. He is working He's making out. me work for it. He is working hard right now. He's bracing his core. He's using his arms. And Chris is also bracing his core, using his arms, pulling this rope. Keep it going, Chris. You got this, man. There it is. There's the yeah. grab. Nice grab. Keep it going. Left hand to right hand. Left hand to right hand. We are almost at the finish line. And what I'm going to do, you're going to see here, if you're a, if you're a helper, you're going to want to make sure that when this rope comes around, it doesn't fly over the top and hit anybody in the face. Pull, Chris, pull. There yeah. we go. Nice job. Great job, everybody. All right, I'll take that, Josh. Great job. And again, look at that. Josh felt that. You can see his arms are pumped right now. He got a great workout for his biceps. But what else was great about that workout was, remember, Josh was using his muscles but they weren't getting longer or shorter. They were holding steady. Now we've talked about that before. Remember, that's that isometric contraction, and that is actually where you can build up a lot of strength by doing exercises and spending time where your muscles are under tension, but they're not necessarily getting longer or shorter. Now if Josh would have relaxed at any moment, that bar would have gotten pulled down, and he doesn't want to hurt Chris, and Chris doesn't want to hurt Josh, so there was our sense of urgency to do our best. I think that was a great exercise. Do you feel good about that, Josh? I feel great about it. Nice. What about you, Chris? Is that a good one? Awesome. All right.